And my name's Maud Morgan, and I was born in 1903. Herbert Ignatius Harris, in 1905. It was so, uh, so beautiful up there, and I was given a great freedom with animals and around the farm and all that. From another point, I didn't have many friends, and I was very alone a lot of the time. I used to play the fiddle, but I gave that up. It was too difficult. Enantioglomia. It's, it's, it's something that starts to be very bad but it occurs and develops into something which is good. Changes in nature, in other words. I don't think of any particular bad moments. I've always been quite flexible and resilient, so... Uh... I didn't have any choice. I think I wasn't strong enough to withstand my mother, it never occurred to me that I could be different. I didn't, I, I wasn't sufficiently awakened. I don't recall spending any particular day. I, I think I, I think I have some kind of a job to do. I'm not quite sure what it is. But I feel that, that, that there's a, there's a piece that's not done. See, some things are happening at the, at the last minute, you might say. I, I have no idea when uh, I'm due to check out, and, and the uncertainty at my age is, is a, a kind of thing that uh, doesn't make life more interesting by any means. Because for a long time I thought of suicide, and yet I didn't do it, although I thought I wanted to. Now, what saved me from doing it, I don't know. I had a great many friends who committed suicide, and I think I began to see through them that how, how sad it was, and that it didn't solve all the problems that they thought it was going to solve in each case. I knew a lot of people who committed suicide. Well, a lot of people are committing suicide now, too. I think in most cases it's very sad. Not always. Good Lord, I couldn't possibly <laughs> think of the best memory. <laughs> That's a ridiculous question. <laughs> who do I miss? I had two or three very good old friends that, uh, that I, I think of missing, but uh, they were all died so long ago that I don't think much about them anymore. And that's why I try to remember things. And when they flash by, it's to, to, to tell people any little thing, uh, because it's all so unanimous now, and uh, it's, it's what the factory makes, which is the cheapest type. Offhand, I can't uh, think of anything special that I care to be remembered for. Uh, I, I uh, uh, wrote a book with a a uh, well-known uh, uh, physician, uh, Roswell Gallagher, and uh, that book went into three editions. It was published continuously for years, and uh, that'll probably take care of my memory. that this is this part of eternity and every day, as I'm talking to you now, that there's, there's something, you know, we're, we're both here, we're talking, and we're, 
in a certain place. How do we know something could happen in five minutes that could absolutely change both of our worlds or, you know, that sort of thing.